1-5 adding integers. So today we're going to be working on adding positive and negative numbers. Remember integers are whole numbers going from the negatives to the positives. No fractions, no decimals. So one way to think of it is climbing stairs. If you climb up 26 steps and climb down 9 steps, where do you start out at? Well, you've got 26 so that's where our starting point. And then we're going to add to that nine steps down. Now I know you probably would write it as a subtraction, and honestly I probably would too, but they're asking us to write the sum. So that means it's an addition problem. So we're going to go nine steps down, and that puts us at a positive 17. Now we're going to, again, we want to write an addition problem. So a submarine at 35 feet below sea level moves up 13 feet. So if we're below sea level, that's going to be in the negative. If we're moving up 13 feet, moving up is usually considered a positive. So there's our negative 35 there, plus 13. puts us at negative 22 feet below sea level or 22 feet below sea level. You have more negatives so your answer should be negative. Find the sum. 6 plus negative 6 okay 6 plus negative 6 so start out at a positive 6 if you're adding negatives you're going down that puts you at zero. Number four, 18 plus negative 17. Start out at positive 18. Since we have 17 negatives, we're going down. That puts us at positive one. Negative 56 plus 60. Would you try this problem? Go ahead and pause the video. One thing that it helps to do is ask, do you have more positives or more negatives? Since you have 60 positives, 56 negatives, your answer should end up positive. So we'll start out at negative 56, go up 60, that puts you at a positive 4. Number 6, 18 plus negative 25. What do you have more of? You have more negatives. Since the signs are different, you can end up subtracting. 25 minus 18 gives you negative 7. Number 7, negative 34 plus negative 36. Would you go ahead and try this problem? Signs are the same, so you add them together, and you get negative 70. Number 8. 12 plus negative 7 plus 3 plus negative 8. Start out at 12. Go down 7. You can then go back up 3. Down 8. And you end up at 0. Another way that's helpful to do it is to rewrite it. So if we put the positives together and the negatives together, we have 15 positives and 15 negatives and you end up with zero. Negative 7 plus 35 plus negative 22 ends up at 6. I would rewrite this problem probably and rewrite it as 35 plus negative 7 plus negative 22. That gives me 29 negatives and 35 positives. Got more positives than negatives, so I end up with 6. Would you try this problem? Okay, so if you go down 5, go down another 16, up 5, up another 8, up another 16, that puts you at positive 8. 
probably easier to rewrite this. So I have 5 negatives plus 16 negatives, and then 5 plus 8 plus 16. So I get negative 21 plus 29. That puts me at the same spot. Just, I think you make a lot less mistakes when you do that. And the third way, you can cancel them out. If you cancel those out, cancel those out, you're left with 8. Okay, without adding, just looking at the problem, state whether each sum, remember sum is an uh, answer to an addition problem, it's positive, negative, or zero, and explain your reasoning. So take a moment and decide what the answers are. Just positive, negative. You don't need to do, it, do any work. Just what do you end up with? So for number 11, you should end up with a positive because there's more positives. For number 12, you should end up with a negative since you have two negatives to start with. And that's the end.